Glitches. Grand Theft Auto Online has tons of them. Some of them are fun, some of them are handy to know, and some of them are just straight up useless. But regardless, here's 25 random glitches in GTA Online. Watch the video till the end and let me know in the comments if you knew about all of them. But I bet you don't. And if you happen to know all the glitches in this video, then the prize for that shall be... Um... A, a date with the Chromobile! Do I look like a hooker to you? Let's get this video started, shall we? So let's start off this video with a bang. I'm sure a lot of you will know about this glitch. Let's go to the beach and fire an RPG into the shallow water. Aim straight down and attempt to blow yourself with an RPG. For some weird reason, the rockets just, uh... This will also work if you go into this shallow water in the park. It's a fun little party trick to do because as soon as you fire it, you have to get the hell out of there before it actually blows up. Speaking of rockets, another well-known glitch is the one that allows you to fire off rockets at a high rate of fire. On PC, it's very easy to do with a bit of practice, but it can also be done on console, albeit with a much less user-friendly controller. If you want to know how to do it, you can find a guide in the description, but for now, Let's quickly go to another rapid fire glitch, and one that's arguably better and more fun in my opinion. The Revolver of Death. Simply do some frame perfect inputs on the controls, fire off the first five shots, and the last shot will actually be a few hundred shots all expended within a matter of a second. This makes revolvers the highest damage DPS weapons in the game, allowing some guy with a revolver to take on the likes of tanks, insurgents, Boom. aircraft, friggin juggernauts and come out on top. Nothing can stand in your way if you have a glitch revolver at the ready. Speaking of destruction, let's drive some blown up cars. Grab a friend, open up an organization, set friendly fire to off, then have your friend attach a sticky bomb to the parked NPC car. Get in the NPC car on the passenger side, and as soon as your body gets in the car, have your friend blow up the car. The car is totally destroyed, but can be driven like nothing ever happened for upwards of 30 seconds. It's a fun little thing to do if you're just bored. Have you ever wanted to launch yourself high into the air in a comedic manner? Well, there's actually quite a lot of ways you can do this in GTA 5, but one of my favourites would be the Schoenabog Proxy Launch. Simply park up a Schoenabog in front of a ramp like so, apply the parking out riggers, get in the turret seat to raise up the launcher, and then have whoever you want to launch into the air drive their car under the launcher using the ramp. The person in the launcher now gets out of the Schoenabog, and then all hell breaks loose. But in case you don't have anyone to help you out, here's a fun little launch glitch that you can do on your own. Head on over to the pier, find these parasols, and then break them so that they flip on their heads. Now stand on one side, and then shoot the other with a flare gun. These things can launch you into the air with all manner of results. Here's another funny physics glitch. If you get on a ladder and then have another player push you on a motorcycle or something, you'll actually float in place and you can be pushed around. And that on its own, while pretty funny, it does get better. If a player gets pushed far away from the ladder and then they try to climb in midair, their hitbox will snap them back to the ladder, causing all manner of mayhem for anything in between the player and the ladder. Give this glitch a try, it's fun as hell to experiment with. So you know how I'm a major fan of the Insurgent? Well, not only is it a great looking armoured SUV that's combat ready and has great handling, but it's also great for doing out of bounds glitches too. Just sticky bomb the rear door open and break it off, then go to one of many locations around Los Santos and follow these basic steps. Climb into the boot, or trunk if you're a Yankee, then climb into the passenger area and then roll into the wall like so. Doing so will let you clip inside a lot of buildings and areas that you normally can't access. It's fun. You know what else is fun? Doing your mum! This is what my schlong looks like when I'm doing your mum by parking a quad bike on this here crash barrier and then driving back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, oh yeah. Just like how your mama likes it. Not really a glitch per se, but it does look pretty funny. When I'm doing your mum! Here's a few glitches that let you get inside of things. 
Like me getting inside of your mouth. Like getting inside this house. Just park up a car, jump on top of the car, and then inside the house. It can work well as an instant fortification if anyone happens to be attacking you. You can get inside a train carriage as if it were a normal vehicle. It really is as easy as it looks, just wait for the train to stop and you literally just press the enter vehicle button and you get inside. Then once you're done riding the train, all you have to do is just easy way out and... Uh, oh. Uh, uh, there's no way for me to escape! You can get inside the Mile High Club building and shoot outward from the inside. Just got a parachute onto here. Oh, damn it! Okay, second time. I can do this. Okay, good lineup. All right, I made it. No, 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 no! Oh, no! Damn it! You suck. Okay, third time to charm. Here we go. Let's do this. Hey, I made it. <laughs> It might come in handy if you want to snipe some players without repercussions, because everyone wants payback these days after being killed. You can get inside the FIB building by parking a cargo bob like this and then weapon rolling to ragdoll inside. Just whoop- WHOA! Oh no, no! Good Jesus! No, just- just roll in and- Come on, come on, come on, come on. Eh, eh, eh. Hey, there we go. Easy as that. You can get inside Trevor's trailer by doing something similar. Just have a friend pull you inside via a helicopter and Bob's your uncle. It also works on Lester's house. Here's a pretty cool glitch. Grab a Toreador. You know, the submersible car. Now drive to the LS car meet, but before you go in, you have to transform the car into submersible mode as you enter the building. If done right, you should hear the transform sound as the cutscene plays as you're going in, and the fins will be extended while parked in the car meet. Now if you leave the car meet and drive off, you'll have the fins out while in car mode, which is pretty cool on its own, but it gets better. If you park the car in a position so that the nose is pointing upwards towards the sky, then transform into submarine mode and boost, you'll find that the car is suddenly able to recharge its boost while in mid-air. You know what this means. Whee! Unfortunately, you can't control a car while it's in mid-air, but it's still pretty funny. Okay, back down to Earth with a more commonly known glitch. If you shoot a gun to put your character into combat stance, begin sprinting. While sprinting, topple the weapon on and off repeatedly. By doing this, you'll actually run slightly faster than just normal sprinting. If you're someone who likes to do tricks with the BMX, here's a little something that you can do to spice up your tricks compilation videos, because everyone does those nowadays, right? Hold the brake and jump buttons at the same time. Let go of the jump button to begin your jump, and then when you get to the very top of your jump, release the brake. ta -da. Speaking of BMXs, I didn't notice until recently while researching for this video, but whenever you buy a BMX, you normally only have the option to buy it in grey. How boring! Here's how to get a BMX in a choice of 8 colours. Go to the buy screen of the BMX using your phone. Now press the home button. Go to Legendary Motorsports, pick Two Door, scroll down to the near bottom of this page to click on the Z, Z, Type. Choose the colour that you want the BMX to be. Once a colour is chosen on this page, use this button here to navigate back to the BMX buy screen, then buy the BMX. When you have it delivered, it'll be in the colour that you chose for a totally different vehicle. How weird is that? Speaking of paints, you know how Rockstar games like to be very boring in the fact that you normally can't choose to have a pearlescent finish over paints that aren't metallic? Well, here's how to do it anyways. Choose the colour that you want your car to be. This trick will work on any paint, except for chrome, because it doesn't really show through chrome, unfortunately. 
Sorry, Chromobile. You cannot improve upon pure chrome. With a paint chosen for the car, navigate to the metallics section and then wait on the metallics paint menu for about 10 seconds. Do absolutely nothing. Now go back and change something on the car. Anything will do. It's usually best to just change the registration plate if you already have a customized car. You can change it back to normal afterwards. Now after doing that, you will suddenly be able to open up the pearlescent menu as if you had a metallic paint. Now have fun mixing and matching all manner of paint with pearlescent finishes. This is what I got when I used brushed black steel with pearlescent yellow. It looks amazing! Now to just colour match my wheels with the paint job and... Damn, this is... Whew, yeah. Woo! This car, baby. For those who may be wondering how I got these wheels, it's a PC only thing. Sorry console users. As of this video, there's no known way to get Formula One wheels on any normal car. As far as I know at least. And for those who need to stop their car in a hurry because they want to protect their ever so valuable new paint job, a well-known glitch that still hasn't been patched to this day is the ability to exploit the character switch menu to instantly stop any car that you're driving. I don't think this really comes in handy in many areas. During a race, it's usually faster to just take a sharp corner like you would normally. And if it is better than normal driving, I've never witnessed anyone use this glitch in a race, so... Yeah. For those who are looking to add an extra layer of customizability to your player character, there's a glitch that allows you to combine different aspects of different outfits. I'd show off how to do it, but it's complex, and most people who watch me do it always say, there's a better way to do this glitch. Oh, you're stupid. But there's a guide on how to do it in the description below if you're curious. Have you ever looked at your stealth aircraft and wondered if there's an even better way to make your aircraft even more stealthy? Well here's a pretty neat glitch that you can do to make it look like a literal ghost aeroplane. Go to your aircraft hangar and go to the control panel at the back. Go into your storage and choose a really large aeroplane. Now hover that aeroplane over the spot in which your aircraft that you want ghosting is sitting. It should become ghostly when you hover over it, and once in this state you have to pause the game and then click on the Criminal Enterprise Start Pack option. Probably the only time you'll ever use this menu option, but whatever. Wait on this screen for a few seconds. Now back out. Turn around and your aircraft should be ghost-like. You can take it out flying and it looks... rather surreal, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been able to test if this ghost look shows for other players on their screens because of another glitch that GTA Online is going through where I can't join my friends and my friends can't join me! What's up with this? Anyways, let me know in the comments if this ghost effect resides on other players' screens. It would be interesting if it does. Are you a content creator like me who likes to record stuff in GTA Online but has to comply with the day and night system? Well, no more, because there's a way that you can lock the time of day to whatever you want for that session. Go into director mode, go into the time of day options and then press the button to lock the time in place. From here, pause the game and then load a story mode game. From there, go into online and then in online, your time will be paused and you no longer have to worry about continuity when directing your latest masterpiece. And that's 25 random glitches in GTA Online. Let me know in the comments if you happen to know all about them, or possibly any that you didn't know about. In any case, I will see you in the next video, and I thank you for watching.